what's going on? It's Nacho Dad, and today I thought I'd give you guys a little video, the walk around and demonstration of my 1000 watt uh, inverter generator I built. This thing is uh, built using a 3 horsepower engine, as you can see sticking out of the side there. That's a Life Fan, I think. It's a 97cc. It's what came stock on my Baja Doodle Bug mini bike. And we've got a little cutout in the side for the throttle so we can adjust that. I do want to get a throttle cable and run it to the control panel on the back, but that'll come later. We go to this side, you can see we've got our handles. We've got a little foot down there for it. Sticking out the side, we've got a 120 amp one wire GM alternator. And I've got it kind of hanging out there because uh, I never intended to put this sheeting on the side, but I wound up doing it because I like the look of it and it quietened it down a little bit. We've got a muffler hanging out the side and then our tensioner for the alternator right there so we can get to it. We go to the back side. There's nothing on the back side yet. There is going to be a 7 inch cooling fan blowing air inside here. There's nothing on the bottom. I thought the warm air might blow out with the engine and the alternator both having fans on them, but it still gets a little too warm inside. I'll bring you around to the business end. This is the business end of it. As you can see, we've got our volt gauge turned on there. We've got 13 volts on the battery. This switch here turns that on. We've also got two USB ports and a 20 amp DC socket. This switch turns the alternator on and off. This switch turns the inverter on and off. These are our two 120 volt outlets. And this is the on off switch for the engine. If we come up here, come up here as you can see, we've got a, that's an ammo can in there that I'm using to hold the inverter and also using as my control panel. We've got the engine, we've got the gas tank here, so we've got easy access to the gas tank. We've got the choke and fuel shut off there. And you get a little better shot of the alternator right there. We've got a four and a half inch pulley on the engine with a two and a half inch on the alternator so it's a little overdriven. And then we've got our deep cycle battery down there. Leave that lid open there. I'll show you the inside of this. And pop this little side hatch open. This is the inner workings of it. We've got our Jupiter 1000 watt power inverter in there. And that goes over to our outlet that's on the front. We've got battery voltage in. We've got alternator in on one disconnect. We've got this bar goes across to our other one, goes to the inverter for power for it. And then we've got a jumper wire that runs our switch for the accessories on the front, our volt gauge. Close that all up. It was kind of an afterthought putting all this wood on the side, but I'm glad I did. I kind of like the looks of it. It's just uh, fence pickets and uh, hit them with a blowtorch. They're pressure treated. They'll last for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys up in the tripod and fire this thing up. And I think the only thing I've got to test with it right now is my angle grinder. And that's kind of about the limit of this inverter setup anyway. So let me put you in the tripod. We'll fire this thing up. I'll put the flap wheel on it. We'll grind away on that 2x4 right, so for a moment. I've got it turned around here. And you guys can see the power panel. We've got 12.9 volts on it. I'm going to go ahead and turn the inverter on. We're still hanging out 12, 9, 3, 13 volts. Plug my grinder in. As you can see, just running it with just the inverter, it runs just fine. And now I'm going to fire the engine up and run it with the engine. You'll be able to hear the engine bog down as the grinder loads up because it's not going to be drawing the power from the battery. It will be drawing it from the alternator. That's another reason why there's a disconnect for the alternator. It's hard to get this little three horsepower engine to spin fast enough to get revved up with this alternator if you leave the current straight to the battery. It gets up to about 800 RPM. The alternator starts trying to put out high current and it just kills the whole system. So I'm going to go ahead and turn our engine on. Got the handy dandy D-Wall. I'm going to spin it over. And you'll hear it when I turn this over. So now it's charging the battery. I might have to go full throttle to run the grinder because it's got such high inrush current. This thing won't power it any other way.
All right, guys, I'm going to take this thing off the trailer real quick, and we're going to cut off uh, the old spare tire carrier off the front of the underside of this trailer. That's what we were cutting through. Whoa. It's a uh, half inch, five eighths, solid. Used to be a spare tire carrier on my trailer, but uh, one side broke off, and I don't use it. I'm covering it up with the boards there, so... Figured that'd be All a good right guys, test. So there we have it. That's a little demonstration of the 1,000 watt inverter generator I built. Uh, the grinder's a little big for it, but it does the job just fine. I think it's perfect. Uh, would I recommend you going out and building one yourself? Do you have to go buy all the pieces? No. You can go buy a much bigger generator that's going to do way better than this for the same amount of money. Now, if you've got a bunch of spare parts laying around and just need a project to do, this is an excellent project. Or if you might be somewhere that you can't get a generator, but you have an inverter. This is also something you can look into. But uh, all the parts will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Uh, hit the thumbs down button if you didn't like it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, if you want to see more of my stuff. And uh, I promise more mini bike stuff is coming in the future. Alright guys, keep it between the ditches. We'll see you on the next video.